All right, so first, when you uh, want to make some text into an SVG, and I'm, I'm doing this on a Mac, and I'm using um, Illustrator from Adobe. So first, what you want to do is just open it up. Um, if you can get this template, um, if you have the shaper, when you get the, the USB on the shaper, it comes with this template. So just open it, and it's going to open up Illustrator. And then just save this template all the time. That way you can, you can always just open it. Just save it on your computer and it opens. All right, so then you go to the text tool over here. Just look for the little text tool. Um, make this nice and big. So um, holding down shift, you gotta hold down shift and then you come to the corner and you pull it. That way everything stays uh, proportional. Um, let me change this font. Go for something. Like this is cursive, so I'll show you what you need to do. You click it one time, let's say, oh no, let me change it so you can, so it looks better. Uh, I'm gonna do my name, capital. All right. Right here. Make it a little bit bigger so you can see what I'm doing. Alright, right here you can see that the G, it's not together with the, you see the U and the S is together, and then the T and the A and the V is together. So, it's actually separate letters that are put together, so you, uh, you need to go to type all the way up here on the Mac, I don't know, on the Windows I guess it would be the same thing, you go to type, <clears throat> you go to type, Oh, you have to be clicked on it. You click on it, go to type, create outlines. <clears throat> and then, see this G is ready to cut. But when you have uh, letters that are together, that are touching, it's going to mess it up when you go to do the cut. So what you need to do is go, if you don't have it up here, like I do, um, go to window. And you look for... Pathfinder, right here, Pathfinder, but I already have it over here. So you would hit Pathfinder, and then you want to hit this button. There's like two white squares on top of each other. It's called Unite, so you hit Unite, and then it makes it one solid uh, path. So this now becomes one path all the way around the U and the S, instead of... Uh, two letters put together so now it's ready to cut if you want you can uh, you can grab the little eyedropper and then you can click on whichever one of these you want like a interior cut exterior cut or on the line I'll just do exterior <clears throat> and and then you you select all of this you delete it then you go to file, you go to save as. Um, I'm just gonna click and say my name, my name. You go down here and you save it as a SVG. You save, don't mess with any of this, just hit okay. <clears throat> and now it's ready to, uh, you can just move it from wherever you saved it uh, save it onto your USB, your flash drive, put it on your shaper, and it should be should be on there now. All right, let me show you how to do that. You open up computer or on the Mac is Win uh, Finder. You go to documents. What do I call it? Name. It's up here. You go to name, you hold it, uh, control, and then you click it, 
and it gives you the options and you click uh, copy copy that file copy name then you go uh, I don't have my then you would go to wherever you have your uh, your USB let me do that real quick <clears throat> Here. Then my USB is going to show up over here, the shaper, and then, so now I'm on here, you go to wherever you want to save it, you hit control again, hold down control, and you hit paste item, and now you're going to have it on your USB drive, and then all you have to do now is uh, connect your USB drive to the to the origin and you're ready to cut it so that's how you do text convert a text to svg